inside your head. You really cannot catch them or find their whereabouts. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The motion sensor. This part has to be replaced with one that's new. I've got an idea. How about we run to the warehouse and get it? Because you don't have time to go there. And that way you can keep on working. All right, then. Only remember the code for the part. A-8375. I'll remember it for sure. <laughs> Why is Elisa always there at the wrong time? Do we have to wait till she goes away? <laughs> what for? We'll sneak out behind her. Did it? Did you find the part? It's here. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah we're, we're ready. ready. Let's do it. Ah, Professor Eugenius, you're in here. Uh, do you know why this door just opened? Ah, and closed by itself? Ah, of course I know, Elisa. It's because I converted it into an automatic one. You see, I installed a motion sensor above it. A motion sensor is like an electronic eye that watches everything that moves in front of it. Did you ever wonder how doors open by themselves at places like stores or at the airport? They open with the help of motion sensors. If the sensor sees that someone walks up to the door, it sends a signal to the door's electric motor. The electric motor opens the door and then automatically closes it after the person walks through it. That man is just astounding. Only a bit untidy. The door is automatic now? Then why didn't it open for us on the way here? Because we're too little for that motion sensor. But the part's bigger than we are. Big enough for the sensor to see it. Then how do we get in there? We can fool that thing if we stay close by the wall. Now let's keep this as close to the wall as we can. This door is a little too automatic. And these parts are here again. Didn't I put them away? Ah, the sensor still noticed us. Here's what we gotta do. Let's break it. Why do we gotta break it? All we have to do is deactivate the unit. Sensors are used to help people in all sorts of different situations. For instance, motion sensors notice when someone is moving so they can automatically open a door or turn on a light. Some automobiles are equipped with rain sensors. If it starts raining or snowing, the sensor automatically turns on the car's windshield wipers. There are also sensors that react to how much light there is. In the evening, when it gets dark, light sensors can be used to turn on street lamps. And in the morning, when it gets light again, the sensor switches them off. A smoke detector can sense when there's smoke inside. The sensor can be used to turn on a fire alarm or even an automatic fire extinguishing system. I turned it off. That should do the trick. Great job. Let's go. <laughs> Professor Eugenius, mission accomplished! Well done, Fixies. Uh, actually, not that well. This part here is A7583. Uh-huh. And I asked for A8375. Digit, didn't you say you knew the code number? I did know it, but somehow forgot it. Ah, uh, Digit, I can't believe that you forgot it. All right, we'll just have to go out one more time. Thanks, but no thanks. I'll get it this time. 
I forgot to warn the professor that we've turned off the sensor. And I'm afraid he's expecting that the door will automatically open up. Professor! Stop! You don't. I want to talk with her. Why not use the phone? This thing's a flashlight. It's not a telephone. No, you don't understand. Me and Katya came up with a secret code. If I flash just once, then it means, hello there. Oh, and Katya's also said hello there to you. And two flashes? What's that? Katya's asking if everything's all right. Now I'll tell her that everything's good. Oh, what's wrong with this? Right. I see, Nolik, but what's wrong? Any flashlight is nothing more than a battery and a light bulb connected by some wires that are used to make a switch in between them. To turn on a flashlight, you flip on a switch. That lets the electricity flow through the wires from the battery to the bulb so it lights up. And if it won't light up, that means that the battery is dead, the light bulb is burned out, or the switch is broken. And now, let's put all this theory into practice. I'm sorry, but I don't have time right now. Don't you get it? If I don't signal back, she'll think that I don't want to talk to her. And that would just be terrible. Just don't get all worked up. We'll help you. But first, we need to get the Mac up. Uh, uh, um, the pack -a And come right back. See ya. Did you hear that? Masya, what a weird sound. Uh-huh. That's new. <laughs> now we know what the noise was. <sighs> Papus, can we use a pack-a-mat to fix a flashlight? Really, did you say a flashlight? <laughs> Do you know the story about when Granddad had to travel for miles on top of a dog? It's true! He was sent on a very important mission. A huge flashlight repair. What kind was it? A special kind called a lighthouse. <laughs> A lighthouse is a tall structure with a huge flashlight on top of it that is used to help ships and planes find their way. People have been using lighthouses since ancient times. The most famous of them all is the Lighthouse of Alexandria. It was built in Egypt more than 2,000 years ago, and it was more than 100 meters tall. The ancient Greeks considered this lighthouse one of the seven wonders of the world. In ancient times, people would burn big fires on top of lighthouses. Today, the light comes from powerful electric bulbs. Many of today's lighthouses not only give off light, but they send radio signals, too. Yes, thanks to lighthouses, ships and planes for miles around learn where they need to sail or where they've got to fly in order to stay safe. And thanks to that heroic deed of your grandfather, that big old lighthouse started working. Since then, not a single ship has ever gone astray. Simka, and what if we don't just fix the flashlight, but we do something heroic? Like Grandpus did. Uh-huh. All right, what do you say? Let's jump on the back of this dog and get moving. Stop ducking. Whoa. Grab hold of my hand. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh,
Sokka, no! Get out, right now! <sighs> Tanish! <laughs> that was really some heroic deed! Now it's time to go get that lighthouse fixed! Tom Thomas, hand the lighthouse over! What kind of lighthouse? The one that's your flashlight! Uh, I have no use for it. What do you mean, no use for it? But then how are you gonna tell Katya what she needs to know? I already told her. Watch this. No, that wasn't the deal. Yeah. You want to tell us our heroic deed was in vain? Well, if you need some heroic deed, then sure, fix it. Please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out.